there we go hello hello are we live we're live may i very okay mm. we're good we're good we're live so where was i what are we doing keep working on this game straight up still haven't gotten to my c sharp stuff but it's fine it's fine for now do this so what did i do yesterday what did i do yesterday hold up yo hey cool dude hey man what's going on ah uh, let me see hey 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 welcome muhammad welcome uh yeah yeah how are you doing how are you doing i need to update this Ooh, so many functions so much to do what to start with what to start with so we're updating the mouse positions updating the mouse positions set check now i need to lock down right boring right don't you have anything fun you can do at home anything nice anything fun you know, I'm going to try something here, actually. I'm going to push a little array. See if that works. What's up, Shadow? What's going on, man? Just doing the old, good old, good old coding. What I'd like to do is to send... Let me see, guys. Let me see, let me see. Lua, send table push table two lua functions that's not what i want to do i want to push a table lua push table pushing a lua table from outside so i'm creating a table Ooh, this seems set table. Okay. I want to be able to push user data and then grab that user data. Push table string char value. Okay, key value. Okay, okay, then you can set the table. Minus three, you set the table. Hmm. New table, global. All right, hold on, guys. What's going on? Not a thing, just enjoying your time on ice, man. Nice. Very nice, very nice. I find just finishing assignments. Cool, man. Thanks for joining, guys. Look, John, look at that. Look at that. Amazing. Uh, push to Lua in C++. So, new table, push string LL, raw set. What? Um, Easiest way, manipulation, introduction, beginning, return my table from Lua, from C function to Lua. Okay, let me see if you have anything here. So, create table, push number, create table. Uh, parent table size, two elements. First child, table. So, this is multi multi-dimensional. Okay, what does he do in the end, though? Set table, remember, child create table we'll set the pops the key value pair from the lua vm stack and post child table onto the parent so key where is the key field one two three set field oh man this is hella complicated you know what i'm gonna do for now i'm just gonna go ahead and work with the xy situation that i did earlier so let's go ahead and do that that's what i want to do that's what i'm gonna do get mouse position screen x and then y 
whoops, x and then y, and then x and then y, my man. That's what we're gonna do. Now, let's see. Now we gotta do all this complicated stuff. Uh, x and then y, post screen, post window, x. Gotta redo all this tedious stuff. Come on, man. Hey, Shadow, isn't it really late or really early where you are? Isn't it? Really late, I think, right? Hey, man. Hey, Mr. PhD. Welcome, welcome. Not late at all. Just started. Hello. How are you doing? How are you? Get the X of that and then get the Y of this. I missed the light. Oh, you missed it yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, man. That's cool. We didn't do much registered registered some new function and we created a physics component so basically with velocity acceleration drag and we're moving all sprites that have or all the player has a physics component and this one the physics component is in charge of moving the player and applying uh, acceleration drag and all that stuff the only thing players move function does is basically call that physics component move with a direction and then we're updating all the sprite everything we'll probably get into this but just uh, just a little heads up hey man dra for host dra dra host i don't know man welcome anyway thanks for joining appreciate it uh now this isn't gonna work because we have a few things going i suppose symbol near la 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 let me just do this and then game, game state, where, oh, oh, I, I was doing something here, okay, hold on, hold on, let's remove, let's put this, in. welcome guys, hold on, let me welcome y'all, welcome man, welcome zombie mob, what's going on man, this is awesome, so glad you're here man, so glad you're here, uh, oh, you watched the archive, cool bro, Nice, thank you. That's awesome. Then you're in, in tune. What do you say? Hey, Red. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Vishal. What's going on, my man? Miss you, man. How you doing? Man, 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 man. I want to play some games, man. No, I'm playing. We did play yesterday. But welcome. Hope you're doing good. Hope your study's going well. And all that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm hungry. We're doing a fast. You know, the water fast. We're doing the water fast again, my man doing it for four days i'll see i'm real hungry uh cpp get position sprite so okay this is something i'm gonna do in a bit okay so this is basically it right now we have smooth movement but it's rotating because i want to make it rotate against the mouse okay so first of all that's what we're doing right that's what I'm, that's why i am registering all these mouse position functions so we can get that into lua and then we can we can do all that all that nice stuff so i'm pushing that x i still haven't pushed a table i want to actually do that instead of doing x and y but we'll experiment with that in a bit first of all i'm gonna just return one here you could return two things hold on let's let's try this what happens then hold on i gotta try this uh, do, 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 what's going on? I'm great. Thank you. Nice, man. Uh, are you checked GTA 5? Yes, I did, man. I, I got that. I, I just got it. everybody on Epic Games. The premium edition, just like my man DRA said, is free right now. Go ahead and, uh, and just get it. And you should have it. You should own it. All good. You get. You also get a voucher. You get a sales voucher for 95 crowns. That's about $10, something like that, $8 uh, if you get it. And then you can use that on another game. I think that's what happened. So uh, as soon as I downloaded it, I got that voucher as well on Epic Games. So they're just giving away stuff, man. Just go get it. Uh, it's almost smoothly on mine with the 4 gig. Yeah, man. 4 gigs of RAM. That's tough, man. I know. Yeah, man. i5 processor. Yeah, bro. That's good, though. But I think 4 gigs, I think it needs a little more. But still, yeah, I know. It's a joke. It should be able to run. <laughs> right it's free to the 21st okay it's, it's a week awesome yeah guys you should get that you should get that yo let's try this out though let's try this out so first of all what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get the global game like this and then i'm gonna say uh push 
Lua push. What is this? Integer onto the stack. So L. And then we're. This is the screen. So that's an integer. This. No. Game mouse post screen dot x. And then mouse post screen dot y. So we're pushing two integers here. And I don't know how to get this in Lua, but we're going to experiment with this. So first of all, I'm going to register this function in. So get mouse position screen. Let's register this in game. Dot CP up on the top here. Uh, register functions. Here we go. So let's just register that. I think I'll do it right around here. New texture, new sprite. I think around here, I'll register this like that. And then control X that let's register. Let's see if we can just do this in one, one thing. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm not playing among my specs. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> yeah, man, I know it should still run. It should still run. Uh, your specs are good though. They're pretty good. But I think in 2020, you should have around eight gigs, man. I'm sorry. But I did have an experience with four gigs of RAM lately, and it's like maxed out all the time. All the time maxed out. So it's it's kind of tough nowadays, man. But it's not your fault. It's all the people not optimizing anymore. Uh, does Lua enable us to return two or more values like Python? Yes, they does. It does. It's very flexible in that. I'm just I'm really bad at it, so I'm trying to try to do it. If you could, if you could, you can do get position instead of get position. Exactly, exactly. That's what I'm trying to do now. But I'm wondering, I don't remember exactly how to get it because once you do register it, I want to try to do a values equals cpp get what was it get mouse post screen x it's still x but i think maybe we can make that work mouse post screen x cpp get mouse post screen x let's just make sure that is that print type i just want to see what type this returns at because you can do that in lua so i think it should Type is a number. Okay, it's a number. It's not a table. What if I print values? So it's only the... Oh, it's... It's only the X. It's the first one. Okay. Uh, values, values, two, uh, values, two. Is this how you did it? Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, okay, we got it, guys. We got it, we got it, we got it. So it does return both of those, not like a table. Okay, so you can do it like that. That's good. That's good to know. Okay, then we'll use that. Uh, so hopefully that answers your pos your question, my man. Uh, I don't know if you can do this though. Value one. It returns two values. So could you technically do this? Index a number value. No. Dot a. So you're trying to index. What if I just want to get the second one? Huh? Yes, yeah, it's, it's nice though. Uh, I'm poor long. I'm just you coding you to the engine. Oh man, that's enough then. <laughs> Play Minecraft, Dwarf Fortress, all the other games I want to care about. Nice man. Well, there you go. Then you don't need anything else. Uh, yeah. So once you need more, you need more. Maybe value one. Or do you have to get both? That's what. Well, that's my issue right here. If you do have to get both, <sighs> can't you do this? I don't think that makes sense. No, that does not make sense. Uh, 
Hmm. You can't index. You can if you put them in a table in C++, but right now you're just putting the numbers one after another on the stack. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So that's why you have to get them at one after another on the stack. So, yeah, okay. So you have to put it... Welcome, by the way, Edward. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks for helping me out. The first thing you do. You're awesome. You're amazing. Uh, if you put them in the table in the C++. Okay, so you create a table. You create a table here in C++ on the side here. So let's go back to that function. Actually, I really want to do this because it's very nice. So I'm pushing this, but what if I do Lua create table L two. And what does that mean? Let's see what that means. I don't know what that means. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Lua create table example create table. Let's see. So functions type Lua create table. Uh, new empty table push it on the stack. The new table has space preallocated for n array array elements. Okay, and n rec non array elements. This preallocation is useful when you exactly how many elements you will have. As you you can use the function new table. Okay. So if we we do know how many we have, we have two. But what does n rec mean? Non array elements. Pre-allocate for array elements and non-array elements. What do you mean non-array elements? What's that? Oh, oh, so if I'm pushing arrays into arrays, is that what they mean? So create table. You do that. Uh, okay, but they should have an example here. Did you write anything, my main? No. Okay, tables. Here we go. Uh, okay, I don't want all that. Create table push integer Lua set field minus two sensor. Oh, set field. Oh, you can set it. So what is this? Set table. Uh, Lua set table. Is it that easy? Is it that easy is the question. So if we create the table, push integers onto the stack, Lua push table, there is no push table. So I guess it just creates the table and you push, can you push the table? How does this work now? I think this is gonna crash, right? No, it did not crash. So let's go back to player. It's still a number, so we did not get a table back. Uh, set. Do you have to do set field? How does that work, guys? Uh, 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 I don't remember exactly how it works, but put create create table and push values you want in the table, and then there is a bind function. Yes, set field. I think. Okay, so you bind it to the table. Uh, Lua create table. So let's see again how that worked. I don't want to see this. I want to see this. Okay, so you push the integer, you set the field. So what, why is it minus two? Minus two raw set i set field. I'll set I, okay. Let me see how that works then. Uh, then Lua set field. And then that's the index. And then a const char. So you can set a field. Okay, so I could do 
this, it's always taking minus two, which is very strange. It's taking minus two, putting that to sensor, minus two to position. Creating another table, you're putting that to position. Okay. Uh, let me see, maybe there's a better example. Uh, 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 Lua create table. What do you mean set table? Oh, hold on. Oh, so you can you can do this. Hold on, new table. Let me try that instead. New table. So we created a new table. We pushed an integer, pushed an integer. Lua set table. Okay, so after pushing two of these, it should be at minus four, right? I mean, set the table. What happens if I do this? Something's gonna crash. Okay, what if I try to access this? We're just going here, we're just going ham here. Index an un, a user data value. Hold on. Uh, print type value one. Values one. Just to print it out. Let's see. Is that user data then? Then that's user data. Okay. So that's because I think that's because we are doing this. Hold on. I think this is where it starts from, right? So minus four, what happens then? User data value. Hold up. I'm not trying to index anything. This would be real nice to, to get. Uh, and that would be minus two. Where am I trying to index this? I'm not trying to index this anywhere. I'm trying to print it out. Isn't didn't I save this? I did save that. Hold on, let me see. Attempt to index value number. Okay, I don't know. All right, hold on. Uh, minus two stack top. Table itself is on the stack. Okay, it's on minus two. Okay, but then this should work, right? I mean, what if I do this? Index a number value, but I'm not trying to index it. This is weird. Get mouse position. This is hella. This is hella weird. It should be. So this is on the stack. On minus one, and then the new table is minus two. Push these, and that's minus three, minus four. Hey man, Haridas. Hey man, are you using Qt in Visual Studio? No, I'm not, man. Not, not right now, actually. Uh, so let me just see this example again. A new table. Set table. L version push. But it's saying a number value, it's saying that I'm indexing it. I'm not indexing it. I haven't done that anywhere. Where? Where? Well, what if I remove this then? Okay, now it's not complaining. Okay. Ah, damn it. This is this should work. Uh that they did become two user data when I did minus three. Push integer, push integer. Uh, okay, std c out. Uh, Lua get top. I just want to see how many values there are here. All right. How many are there? Attempt to index. Is that the issue? 
Hold on. How much is right here? One. So one thing on stack. And then it flips out. Because this it doesn't do. Does it? Yes, it does. Okay, it sets that it sets that. And here. What happens here? Here we have four things on the stack. Okay. So what happens then? Uh do, 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 do. Lua to number. Let's see if we can get minus two. What's at minus two? Uh, okay, that's the x value is at minus two. Minus three would be the y value. Okay, it's not the y value. Minus one is the y value. Okay, minus one is the y, y value. And then minus two is that, minus one is the y value. This has become minus three. And once we push it, it should be minus four, right? No, this will become minus four. This should be minus, this is the last, that was, the table was pushed. I wonder if it's like that then. No, it wouldn't be like that. It would be minus, this will become minus four. This was pushed to a new table. Push integer, push integer. So I want the table. New table. Lua get type. Lua L. Type name. I want to see what minus one is. It's a number. Minus two is a number. Minus three is the table. So it should be minus three. But it says user data. What? That's so weird. That is so weird. I think it pushes the user data into the table. It should not do that. It's pushing the user data into the table. What about this? Uh, do, 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 do. Hold on. Table. Oh, now it's the table. Oh, this is why the thing was wrong. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. We got it, guys. Uh, sorry about not seeing what you're doing. Talking about... Are you, uh, which one are you using? Uh, this is, uh, not really using anything like that, man. Just straight up, straight up C++, Lua, and SFML. That's what I'm using, those libraries. You're a latecomer? Well, welcome, man. Welcome. I'm happy. I'm happy you're here. I think your table value, set field, value, set field. Okay, that's how you do, right? Yeah, I got to try that. Maybe push the set field because the table field needs a name, right? That's true. But I think this worked now. Because I was returning two things, I need to just return the table. I was also returning the the user data, I think. So what what if we do this? This is now a table. Print values one dot x. That should give me the x value, right? No, that's nil now. Uh, why do we get anything from this? That's also nil. Damn it. What happens if you do this? Table. There's a table. Okay. 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 Very interesting. I should do like that. Uh, but that's so strange. New table. I want to return the table. This is minus one. When I push this table, it becomes minus two. When I push this, uh, 
then it flips out. Okay. Hmm. Very strange. So one, two, three. Hmm. This is the table you're supposed to set, right? So wherever this is. Oh man. Okay. Hello. Weird. Uh, stop down to minus two. You said, huh? That would be a number. This should be. This should be it. This should be it, guys. This should be it. Shouldn't be a problem. I don't know why this is messing me up. Why is this going crazy? That's so strange. Sucks. We had it. We had it. Um, can't be because of this, right? Can't return three values. Yeah, you can't do that. Uh, table equals X, Y. Oh, you think that's it? So it doesn't get an index, you mean, right? Yeah, but I thought it would be automatic. Like, that's how you would do the table, you know? Like, you just push the strings, and then you set the table, and then you can access the table. Hmm. Okay, so that pushes something, takes the top, and then... Yeah, it would always be minus three, I think. Okay, all right, yeah, I guess... That's weird, though. That's weird. So I have to do Lua create table with two value values and zero array values. And then I push the integer and I say Lua set field. Or do we do Lua raw set I? Uh, and then L index. And then one. Index and then two. Right? That's the number position it's at. And then and then we return the table. Oh, there we go. All right. So that is that. That's the x value. We're getting x here. Did we make progress here, guys? Did we make progress? 2 yeah, that's the Y value. Oh, we made progress. Oh, we made progress. Oh, man. Oh, what if you do this, please? That usually does get the first value. No, it didn't. Okay, I need to do the dot X thing. Uh, usually that works in Lua, but whatever. We can, we can do this. We can do this. So we'll get... Ah, I wish I could do the dot X. Anyway... Okay, we'll we'll revert back to how that was. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the patience. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? Um, yeah, I'm not X Y, right? Yeah, that's true. Set field for each. Oh, you have to set field even with the new table. Okay. The stream needs music. You say. What's up, Madao? What's up? Welcome. If I want to do set field function. Okay, if I want that, I need to do set field. So how do I do the set field? Uh, I'll remove the raw. Just, just give me a minute here. Lua set field. So L index minus two would be. It needs a const char. So dot x. You mean like that? Is that what you mean? Is that how you mean it? Or dot y, just x, and then y. Uh, okay, and then player. Uh, 
uh, get mouse. Oh, hold on. I, I got to register it. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Let's remove the Y, get mouse position screen Y. Let's do this. Uh, let's do that. Let's remove the Y. I do want some music though, but we'll see. What's the issue? Register is the issue. Let's see. There we go. Good job, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So can you set the same field to, for example, what if I want both of these to work? What if I want both of these to work? That's not going to work. So I got a set field for the same one again, right? Okay. I see. I see. So it's beca it becomes a key. Okay. Nice. If you don't set the field, maybe it becomes an array instead. Yeah, that's what I thought, but it didn't didn't really. Huh. Ah, anyway, yeah, right. That, did it, it did become an array. That was the whole point. But okay, this is nice though. I like this. This is nice. This is good. Now we can do the X Y thing, guys. Whew, that was a long procedure. Whole oh, main. But now we can we can start working on that. So no more mouse position X Y. I could do the same thing for the other thingies other ones all right we got to remove one of these each x x boom boom we can just get this back right here boom easy as that one two three one two three and just change this to mouse post window like that and then we'll set this to mouse post world but do not forget to set this to instead of integer push number because this is a float nice nice yeah right maybe a function like push vector 2i that would be nice though just so we can easily push stuff and it would always be at minus two. Why is that again? Because once you push it and you set the field, it removes it and puts it into the table, right? And the same thing with this, it pops it, puts it into the table and you just return one table. I guess that's why that works. I like the streaming having no music. It's allowing me to listen to my own music. Oh, that's true. It's also a good point. Plus I don't get demonetized, which happened a few times. I don't like that. We do not like that. Okay, good. Good guys, good, very nice, very nice. So that's working, that's fine. Uh, now we can go into player, we can start doing the mouse, all this stuff. Let me just make a new Lua resource file here. Let me call it, because I wanna use this in the future, uh, vector2f, or just vector2. You can have any kind of number in there, uh, dot Lua. Because we're going to be using this a lot. Vector 2 equals empty array, empty table. Vector 2. 2 vector. Or 2 dot index equals vector 2. To create function. To create and good x y local this equals so this is a class right so x I need to do this okay this self return this okay good 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 now we have one of these <laughs> no mon demonetization very good you guys doing good my dog doing good how's your new computer my dog you forgotten all about us all in your new computer 
Yes, Warzone, please. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. I'm just playing, man. I'm happy. I'm happy we could get your computer going. How did your friend's computer work out? Is it working now? Uh, two dot x. How do you do that? Like, if I want to do dot x, <clears throat> function vector two. Can you do that? I want to get the dot x, but you know, you don't even have to do that. You don't need a function. I'm so dumb. Uh, nice, man. Oh, you forgot to download? All good, man. Do it tonight if you want. Uh, but okay, we're good. So this is vector two working. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you do it tonight, Madao? We're doing straight water fast, man. We're, I'm, I'm dying. Then fort, oh yeah. Let's do Fortnite. Let's do Fortnite. <clears throat> yay, yay. Yeah, man, we're doing it for four days straight up. Haven't eaten nothing. You know how that feels like. So I'm not going to preach to you, but you know what I'm saying? It's, it's nice. It's nice, though. I like it. It's nice. I'm do, we're doing water fast, so it's a little easier. You know, straight water. We're doing that, that type of thing. So it's nice. Okay, all right, so we haven't done anything but try to get this damn thing to work, but at least this is good. Thank you so much, Edward. You're an amazing hero, bro. Literally, you and Mr. PhD, thank you guys for helping me out. Now I know how to do that in the future, so we're good. Save me a lot of trouble when I'm making my series here. Yeah, man, thanks, bro. Thank you. Good job, you too. So let's see what we do here. See what we do here. So we have mouse back. Let's do a mouse vec equals vector to create. And we need to require it. Let's require vector two in register game state. Require vector two. And then we should have access to it in player. No, we won't. Hold on. Hold on. This should be done way... No, it will. In player, we will. Do we want it anywhere else? Maybe we want it in components. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do textures and then components. All these important libraries here. Then initialize components. Then the player. Okay, we're good. No name. What's going on, man? Please do a platform game for the OpenGL series. I will, man. I will. Don't worry about it. I will. We'll get to that. We'll get to that eventually. I gotta head out, man. Okay, got some research in the building line for my game and watch archive stream. Cool, man. Thank you so much. Okay, you have a good day, man. Take care. Good luck with everything. All right. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, player Lua. CPP. Get. Get mouse post world. Dot X. So we we gotta do the same thing. But we have to register them. Don't forget to register your function, guys. It's gonna be real hard, hard on you here if you miss this. Uh, get mouse position window world game state. Uh, no player. Okay, so let me just see. Is this gonna crash? Okay, let me see. What if I remove this? What happened? Hold on. Why is this complaining now? Oh. Was that it? I can't be that. Oh, it was. Okay. Good, 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 good. But we need to do the... Whoops. What if you just do that? I don't think that will work, right? print mouse vec dot x oh that becomes a table whoops okay uh, cpp get mouse post world dot y 
what happens then then we get the correct value Ooh, that becomes a nice little thing there hmm interesting uh, we'll have to fix that anyway that is working though so mouse mouse position world well that is the mouse position and then we need the we have the player position player pos equals player one uh, get position sprite equals hold on we need to do another vector here vector to create x and then we'll just do it the old school way or should we fix it i'll take a long time to fix that let's just do i just want to see this work and then we'll do some cleanup later on uh we'll do the get sprite up in here so now i have the player position the mouse position uh, player to mouse vec equals mouse pos minus player pos that should I wish it would negate I mean I wish you could create an operator in here which would be fun or can you do operator function vector two minus can you do that you can't do that right subtract you can do subtract though uh, vector two or vec end uh, return self dot x minus vec dot x uh, vector two create so we'll create a new one self dot y minus vec dot y i'm wondering if that's gonna work if ah, we'll keep it like that we'll keep it like that so we'll return a vector to a newly created vector two mouse pulse dot subtract player pulse i don't know if this is gonna work guys this seems very shady did not crash though print player to mouse vec dot x oh that did work okay that did work uh-huh interesting oh, it wasn't too bad i mean it's very easy to to do this good nice okay so now we have the vectors uh we have the vectors we have our vector here and what happens now is that is that is that well you know what we could do push we're pushing a number we could have pushed integer so that would be nice in game because i'm getting a bunch of weird numbers here um let me see hold on when we're pushing set get mouse position world the issue is i'm pushing a number let's because it's a pixel right you you don't want this to be static cast let's do an integer on this straight up static cast it to an integer like that and then we will just it'll be a lot nicer lua push integer because I don't want all those weird things. Okay, that's still working. 
now I want to print. Wait, I had it. I had it. I had it. So now it's not going to print any weird things here, right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. So we're not getting any loss of data here, but we're pushing an integer. What we also could do. No, that's going to be a double conversion. We don't want that. We don't want that. We want it to be an integer. We'll keep it as an integer. It doesn't matter. I'll let Lua do the work for me here. Uh, cool, cool. So we got that going, guys. We got that going. Let's see. The next step in life. Hmm. What would be the next step? So we have a subtract, subtract. Uh, let me just make an addition. Just add vec. So instead of that, we'll add to it. Good. Straight up player son. Let's see what's going on here. So we have our mouse, player to mouse vec. So that gives me a vector to that, the direction to that and the distance. And then we have a, we need to get that angle. So yeah, right. <laughs> I wish I had some G fuel, man. Sadly, I don't. That's just some, some water mixed with some nice cola taste. So it's, yeah, man, I wish it was some extra stuff in here. It's a little refreshing when you're fasting like that. Uh, let's do a math. Let's do angle between two vectors. So that isn't too complicated. I mean, if you have two vectors, you have your mouse vector. And I have a right vector. Let's say I have a right vector. Uh, then it would be the cosine of... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The length of the vector. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the length of the vector and boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, the dot product. I remember this. Oh, I wish I didn't forgotten all this from 3D programming. You take the dot product between two vectors and then boom do 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 dot product oh man i wish i had this that would have been amazing uh 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 so i have one vector i want to normalize a vector as well hold on vector how did you do that again normalization so to normalize it this is the magnitude okay that's the size of a vector can now Vx, Vx, Vy, Vy. Okay. That would be the magnitude. And then, yeah, visualizing magnitude, that's great. And then this is a length 10. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Hold on, hold on. I don't want to watch a whole video, man. This isn't that complicated. I made my own video on this. It's not that complicated. Uh, okay, so length of the vector, the, the vector, normal the vector, x is the vector, the same direction with normal length, one. So you divide it by a unit vector. Okay, so x divided by the length. So... Let's go back to vector here. Uh, inverse tangent. Inverse tangent. Very interesting. To rotate it, you mean? Uh, 
Uh, uh, uh, uh. Ooh. Ooh, simpler, he said. No, this is the one, right? Yeah, okay, okay. So, yeah, we have the cosine and the sine, and then you get the angle between. Of course, this should be what I should have gone to directly. Why was I doing all the dot product thing? I don't remember. Anyway, that's why we need to get, normalize it, so we know how much, what the angle is here, so we can do theta cosine hold on I want the angle so if we know the X and the Y hold on hold on hold on I knew this bro why am I so bad at this right now arc sin I have the X and the Y and I just want the angle between that the X and the Y that's all I want. I need to. I do need to normalize them, though. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's make them normalized thingy. Uh, X. Normalize the vector. And that would be uh, the length of it divided by the length. Hmm. right the length of it divided by what it is divided by the length of it does that make sense the whole thing is divided by the length of it the hell why is this so complicated again okay hold on i need to learn this again there we go Okay, square root of that, okay. Okay, I got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, length. Vector two. Length. Oh, I should do big letters. What am I doing? Hold on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Return the length of it. So that would do return, return vector to create a new vector with uh, create. No, we shouldn't return that. It should just return math dot square root of math.pow self.x and then math.pow plus math.pow self.y that was it right so plus square root of and then divide by 10 so square root of whatever it was plus whatever that was that will return the length of it and then when we normalize it, we want to get back a normalized vector. Normalized vector. Uh, self dot x divided by self length. Uh, length equals self length. Just calculate it once, so length No, there we go Okay, so that should be good, sorry guys, I'm not really thinking Oh, okay Oh, MathPow x2, thanks Tangent theta x is y x Oh, okay, yeah, 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 right? Ah, I gotta remember that I should watch my own video on this. Hold on, let me see. See what's going on. Okay, so let's first of all, step number one, pow self x2. 
So if y to the power of 2, square root that, we'll get the length. We'll normalize it. We'll add here and subtract and then go back to player. Do that one. Print player to mouse vec length. I just want to see if I can get that back. Okay, so we're getting the length of it. Where's the player here? So the length is all the same when I'm moving around here. Okay, that's amazing. That's great. Uh, player. Okay, so what I want to do in the length is I want to keep it pixel perfect. So we're going to do math dot two number two integer and return an integer instead hopefully that will work a nil value okay hold on math dot integer is that it can you do that hmm two int Hmm. There is no integer, is there? What we can do is we can round it. Math dot seal. Math dot floor, floor, floor is good. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Now we're flooring it. That's good. That's amazing. Thank you. Uh, we'll keep that and then we'll get the length as a floor. That's good. Then we'll return the whole division here uh, because normalizing it, we also want to do math.floor here. I remember this being an issue with Lua, so I'm going to floor all this so we don't get any issues. And then we'll run that. Good. Okay. It worked, working, 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 working. Now we'll return a vector two that is normalized. So if I do vector allies dot x minus one. So this is one. Oh, we should not do that at all. We should not floor that. That's dumb. Why am I doing that? That's not smart. Uh, it should be whatever it was. Sorry about that. Boom. Okay, so this is way better. This is way nicer. So now we have that X and Y normalized. Now what we can do is we can get an angle from that. So we have the X and the Y. And what was it? Angle. Uh, reverse tangent, inverse tangent. Help me out with the math here, guys. Math is fun, right? So I have the opposite adjacent. I want this, the hype. So that's tan, right? Arc tan. Uh, what if I have the adjacent and the opposite? That's what I have, and I want the angle. Sign. Oh man. Oof. Do you know this, Mr. PhD? Help me out. Please. More than one angle. No, I don't want more than one angle. Minus 10. Oof. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What if I have we we'll also have the ba -ba -ba. There we go tangent opposite divided by tangent Okay Then I'll get that angle That's not what I want though I would like that though with this one do, 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 do. Um, 
Why don't I remember this? Tan x equals. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So minus arc sin. Then arc sin x. Oh man, okay. Is there a ton player to mouse vec dot x? X was that it? I don't think that's it. That doesn't seem right. How would that work? Uh, and is the same as inverse tan. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. There should be a math a tan since it's only considered first quadrant. You need extra. It's in radian. Okay. Uh, math two or dig. Degree. Oh, there is a math dot degree. There we go. That should be ninety degrees. So okay, so we should do a as soon as it hits ninety it goes to the other side. Okay, very interesting. Uh, that wouldn't matter. Okay, that does not do anything. <laughs> this won't help. I think it will just do a... It won't go from 0 to... 200. What I do want is Let's see hold on Remove this Wait hold on I'll keep that and then I'll just do a boom CPP set sprite rotation cockpit sprite to uh, I'll get this actually. Degrees equals or angle, call it angle. Okay, so it's going to 90 and then it's flipping out. Oh, 180, it's doing 180. We can do up to 180. Okay, okay. Very interesting. First and third quadrant only positive. Yes, that's true. And then it goes to negative and all that and all that. So how would you do that again? I want the whole thing. I want the A10 of... So a negative value. How would you fix that, man? How would you do that? Oh, okay. So you have to check if x is negative and y is positive, then plus 90. Okay. Hey, what's up, man? K-I-C-S-I-T-1. What's going on, man? Welcome. Thank you for joining. So if... Uh, else if x positive and y negative then plus 270 oh you got to do that okay i know there was a I, my god i mean i think i knew that there was a way of doing this without all that i mean this is this is amazing i do like this but i know the dot product what that did hold on let me just try this just for my own sake vector dot product Okay, 
So dot product between two vectors is the length of both vectors multiplied by the cosine of the angle between them. And what you can do is you can get the angle between them by using the dot product and dividing it with all that. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, and the dot product between two, if they are normalized, there was something about this. And the length of them is 1, right? So the dot product was 1 times 1. Oh, man. Hold on. The length of the vector is always 1 if it's normalized. And multiplied by cosine. So 1 multiplied by cosine. So to get the angle, it was... was the cosine of the arctan of the dot product, right? AB plus AB of the second one, A multiplied by B1 plus A2 multiplied by B2. Okay, so the dot product, hold on man, let me just try. Dot is player to mouse vec dot x hold on i can get a dot product here function vector 2f2 dot product end i like this 3d way of doing it. i like this way of doing it. it's pretty nice i want to try the other one too but i just need to check if this will work uh, dot product would be return return self dot dot product between two vectors so vec self dot x multiplied by vec dot x plus self dot y no x how was that a1 okay so that's a1 a b2 b2 okay so that's self dot x self dot y multiplied by vec dot y and that is the dot product dot product between those two and you get the dot product and then you had length normalize all that blah blah, blah. and then you want to get the angle between both so function function vector 2 angle vec and to get the angle between the two, you need to do return math dot cosine a cos self dot dot vec. Right? I need to see if this works. Hold on. I need to. I need to just check. Uh, let me do this. And then do this as well. Hold on, my man. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. Oh, as you as you notice. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Let's put the dot or the angle equals player to mouse vec. So that's one vector. I want to get, no, that is one vector already. Hold on. We can get the angle. We don't have to do that, right? Hold on. Angle of the vector. Because we have the X and the Y. Uh, we will do self dot product of the vector hmm that's the vector and I want to get the dot product of the x and the y damn that's hella weird hold on um, normalize length dot 
Okay, we'll keep that and then we'll do. Okay. Hold on, I'll do it outside. Play the mouse vec dot normalize. Mouse post subtract, so we got that. Uh, da, 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 da. Mouse player to mouse vec. And then we'll do dot dot product. Uh, no, we need two vectors, right? Because we only have an X and a Y. So we would need the right vector in that case. Hmm. Uh, right. Vec equals vector to create 0 0.0, 0 0.1. No, that's one is to the right zero. So it just gives me a right vector. Good dot product would be player to mouse dot right vec this is nice this is very interesting so right vector now i have the dot product and now i want to do player to mouse vec angle this would be dot angle hmm between itself and a new and another vector dot equals of the dot product between two vectors. Oh, I didn't even need to do that. Hold on, right vector. Angle. Of course, of course, of course. Do we even have Mm. return a cost dot wick. So the dot would be it will be zero and then that would be very interesting how I did this. I remember I did this. I was I was just got this right last time. Uh Very interesting. Okay, you know what? We'll keep working on this way then. Ah, uh, it's close. Hold on, I need to check something. Uh, GitHub head turner. Let's go here. Let's check out my old code. SFML example. Oof, which one was it? think it was bullets enemy bullets aha uh -huh, okay Interesting, interesting. All right, let's see. So, hmm. So, first check is X negative and Y positive, and then if X is positive and Y is negative, okay. If uh, so that is the angle hmm. 
Hmm. Let's see if there's even another way here. I remember there was one nice one. You can always go to answers here. No. There we go. Aha, uh -huh, okay. A ten two multiplied by hundred and eighty. Yeah, okay, that's that's two degrees basically. That's it. A ten two. Is there a ten two? I don't know. Okay, that's hell weird. What happened? Player the mouse vec. Oh, hold on. What did I do? Oh. A ten two of the difference delta and y delta and x. Not sure. Oh, there we go. Okay, nice. All right, that worked. Plus ninety, I think. Plus ninety. There we go, guys. Oh, look at that. Amazing. Okay, so that's now working. Nice, 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 nice. Nice. So this is exactly to the mouse, like instant. That's cool, that's cool. That is nice. You could do a little rotation thingy where it kind of rotates with a certain speed, but we'll might get to that later. That's cool. All right, that's working now. Oh man, that's awesome. Okay, hold on. So we got that working. Now, what is the next thing to do? I would like a nice little background. Hmm. Space. There we go. Let's do whatever. What is that? Uh, let's do... Projects. Thanks for the help, guys. Man, that was intense. Um, map, new folder, backgrounds. Oh, we did have backgrounds. Whoops. Don't have anything in backgrounds? Oh, no JPG, JPG images. We got a bunch of these, though. Uh, view. Medium icons. What do we have? Okay, we have all this stuff, but we'll put that in there. BG1.jpg. And then, nice, nice. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. At least we got that done with the X and the Y. So we can fix all of this stuff here as well. So we don't need a bunch of X and Ys everywhere. Uh, A10 is uh, better version of A10 because uh, X is zero. There will be an error. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Cool thing that it worked though. Thanks for chilling with me guys. I, I am, I'm really focused into this as you can see, but we're working, we're working hard. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to learn what I can now until I make my, my other, uh, other series. So this was this was really really good experience today. I got a lot of new things in my head. Okay, we'll we'll leave that. I still do want to fix that. I know there's a way to do it. I just know. I just know. But I need to I need to just forget about that right now. Game. Let's do. Let's do this. Uh, Textured sprites. 
Uh, to, 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 I have the window. Uh, SF rectangle shape rectangle shape will have a background and we want to initialize the background this is just a straight up background yeah, register Lua functions mm. No, oh, that's the T, right? This should be like after all this. Void init background. We'll get a background going. Right there. And then we'll say this background dot set size. This window dot get size. But that is, of course, a float, and this is an integer. Okay. So how do we do static cast sf vector 2f? So let's let it cast this to that size. Now we are in the same size of the window, which should be the size of the resolution. So nice, nice. Okay, this background dot set texture. <clears throat> Can you do this? Is the question because it takes a pointer to a texture, so you need the texture to be alive. To be alive. What if we just set the size here and we do all that from outside? Okay. New texture. Mouse position world. Set. Where do I want that? Hold on. So I have background after mouse position. So I'm trying to keep some kind of a order here. CPP set background texture. There we go. Game. Set the background texture. Where are you, man? What? Go to definition. Oh, here we go. Nice. Okay. So we're just going to say game dot background dot set texture is this. No game textures at position int texture index equals Lua two integer L one Where's the set texture again? Two integer. Okay, good. Boom. And then we'll do index boom okay nice so we're we're just basically setting the background texture and we need to call that from here so let's go ahead in here let's require let's create the player uh, let's do is that camera you use as CCTV <laughs> this one <laughs> I should use it as CCTV what is it which one? Oh, you mean this thing Oh, that thing in the back. Oh, no, that's just the camera stand. <laughs> CCTV. <laughs> that's funny. New uh, CPP new texture. 
textures, uh, textures, backgrounds, bg one dot jpg. Was that it? Textures, backgrounds, and then oh, bg one dot jpg. Okay, so we create a new texture, and then we say cpp set background texture to, and then here bg text equals okay bg text. So we just set that. And if I run this, it's going to crash because we don't have that function registered. Let's do that. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Game.cpp. Set background texture. Didn't I do that? Okay. Set background texture. Let's go back here. Yes, right? I am right now. At this moment, I am. But I do want to check that out again. Why am I printing? Where am I printing? Could not open texture file. Textures, background, backgrounds, backgrounds. Uh, what am I printing? Where am I printing anything? Where am I printing, guys? Print. Print. So easy, just one liner, math to degree, a tan two player to mouse back Y and the delta in X. And it's cool thing is it is the delta because it's normalized, so right? No, it's not normalized. It's just subtracted between two points. That is the delta in X. Yeah, huh, interesting. Plus ninety. Okay, the difference between the y coordinate and the x coordinates and then and then you get that okay fine you know what it works i'm not gonna think more about that right now you just gotta leave things behind sometimes uh set the background texture nice nice now we're just gonna go ahead and game and we're gonna do this we're gonna go to render 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 clear render sprites This render background, and we're gonna create that, of course. Void render background, boom. This window dot draw background. Oh man, so easy, so easy. Okay, not easy. Unable to open file, cannot open the file. Backgrounds, okay, that's why. Game state grounds. No need to normalize actually if you use Arctan because the angle is similar, okay. Yeah, the angle is still similar, even if it's Normalize now. The only reason you have to normalize would be to uh, corrupt the JPEG. What do you mean corrupt JPEG? What are you talking about? It's amazing. It's the best JPEG ever. Can I please just just save this as a? Oh man. What about now? BG. Base, maybe. Ah. BG space. Come on, man. Corrupt. That's so weird. That hasn't happened before. Let's get another background. What is this? What is all this? Can I please get this? 
save it as a PNG. Okay, fine. We'll do PNG space PG dot PNG space PG dot PNG. PNG. Okay. Still nothing, but we did manage to get, because we're not setting the texture, that's why. Uh, game, init background, here we go, init backgrounds. Oh no, we are setting the texture. But we're not calling the init background in the game here. Uh, this init background, what about now? Oh, nice. Look at that. Okay, that looks a lot nicer. Good, 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 good. Look at that. That looks awesome. Okay, somewhat, somewhat. That's great. That's great. Now we have that movement done. All running from Lua. Yes, very nice. Very nice. Very good. Very good. And then there we go. There we go. Very nice, guys. Thank you for the help. Let's go to the next step, which is going to be some nice animations on this. That's what I want to do. I love this. We're good. We have smooth movement now. Now we need some animations. So while moving player. This is this is very easy. This is very easy. Uh, set position. Here. The left wing. Is. <laughs> thanks, man. Right. You just move around smooth movement as much as you want. You can just move around everywhere. Amazing. <laughs> so we gotta we, we're gonna move it in the X direction depending on the speed. So multiplied by uh, plus hold on, I wanna move it just as a test. physics component dot velocity x and the right wing no the right wing should be plus this should be negative oh this is gonna go this is gonna be crazy oh look at that that looks funny that looks so funny Nice. <laughs> kind of what I don't want to do. Not really what I want to do. I want it to move. Because they're rotating. They're still going. That's very interesting. I want it to go out a little bit. Depending on. If it's moving. If velocity is greater than. Uh math.abs velocity x let me do that no matter what this is very interesting so no matter what is going outside of that that's that looks funny that looks real funny look at that that looks amazing <laughs> that's that's real nice i wanted to go out out No matter what. How did I do that in Wingman? I remember I had a cool little... So velocity x... Velocity y... Very nice, very nice. Uh... This is going to go ham. <laughs> that looks just that just looks funny. Okay, so I want it to move before we rotate it. I want to rotate it then move it. I want to rotate everything and then I want to move 
the stuff in the x direction or the y let's see if you rotate it first it still didn't matter i want to first of all i still want that to be the x you know what i mean so i wanted to move out in the x direction uh, so after I rotate it, set the rotation to that, and then move it. Okay, just rotates the sprite, but it still makes it go that way. Uh, use the heading angle, okay, and produce using cosin for x and y respectively. Oh, yeah, 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 right? Right? We do have the heading angle. Okay. And then using that, we can get the... Yeah, okay. That is nice, though. I just want to double check. I remember having that GitHub head turner. I want to check that out real quick. Wingman player, right? Player. Oh man, what was all this? Oh, these were the, the keys. Oh yeah, I gotta do the keys as well. Player center. Okay, we got the center position, sprite, sprite, shield, accessory textures in it, all this. Oh, the scale, set position. update accessories here oh the aura was rotating at all times uh, set position okay oh this is how it was current velocity divided by two current velocity by absolute it was moving from but when did I rotate this this or wing dot row it never rotated set position it did but it never rotated it why did it not rotate it is there no rotate that's the only rotates hmm very interesting Huh. I know I did rotate it somewhere. Huh. When did I rotate this then? Update accessories, power ups, combat movement, view. Okay. Normalize direction. Drag force, final move, update positions. Huh. I did rotate the sprite though. Game. Ooh, I don't want to go through game and all that. Wasn't rotating there. Stage. Never didn't I get the rotation to work? Huh. Uh, you're using S1, right? You should just make a wing transform relative to ship transform, not bother rotating wings, right? Yeah, right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So. So it should be relative to ship. 
relative to the ship. Uh, let me see. Instead of moving them, you mean this? Like instead of moving them? I'm just setting their position to the right here I'm gonna move them in the angle okay you multiply the wings transform with the ships transform so is there a transform yeah in as well have built in yeah right they have everything built in so the transform uh, matrix thingy is built in so you multiply this one with that one okay so it'll become relative okay but how do you get that in SFEMO? can you get that get transform okay so you get the transform And you can do sit. Can you set it? You get back a constant transform. Okay, constant transform reference. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Let me read up about that. Hold on. SFML transform. Get matrix transform. Mm-hmm. So you have a transform matrix. And then you can set everything to it. They do have transforms. But how do you set one sprite's transform to another? Huh. Or multiply them, I mean. Interesting, though. Because that would be nice. Instead of moving everything and all that crap. Uh, anyway, anyway, hold on. Let me just see what I did so I don't do anything extra here. I need to remove all that. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Set position. Update accessories. Okay, player center. No, 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 no. Position X and then player center. So we'll set there. Right. Okay. So I'm actually setting. Not rotating anything. I'm just setting the position right there. Okay. Very interesting.
This would be cool to see though. I don't know if I actually did all this. Uh, game. That's CPP. This is a pretty big game. Update player. Enemy bullet. Look at all this code. Holy crap. This is insane. Update. Player update. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't complete with this. That's why I never pushed up the latest stuff. That's why I didn't have the rotation and everything. Interesting, though. Hmm. All right, two years ago. All right, cool, man. Thanks. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Let me see. Let me try this. Because I, this is, I remember not doing this, actually. I do remember not doing this. I know if you do it in a certain order, you're good. Like if you just set the position to where it should be. And then you set the rotation. Then you should be good. Then it shouldn't be a problem. Because I'm setting the rotations here. Um... I'm getting the position of the sprite and then I am adding something to it, but it already has rotation. If I set the rotation and then I set it. Oh wait, it's setting it like that. It doesn't... Okay, hold on. Let me see. No, that's not going to work. Because that's still the X. That's still X4. For... for it. It's still the X direction. So it should be... The rotation of it. The directional vector, and then to the right. It's okay. It's okay. It's clear, Snada. Now, where are they? How do you know that man? Oh man, I haven't called. Ne, one time, five to four minutes. All right, I gotta go in a minute here. I just have to check this though. This is an interesting problem that I wanna. I want to solve because we're moving and I want the player to be we're setting the player's rotation right is that what we're doing that's why the issue is there we're setting the sprite rotation we're not rotating the sprite we're setting it hmm and that means It's always like that, right? Updating the heading. And after we update the heading, we're updating the ship parts. That's not gonna work, is it? Nope, didn't matter. Okay, <clears throat> no, that shouldn't matter. I mean, we're still setting a rotation here. Interesting. Okay, so possibly need to create render state. You can send it in draw, I think. Okay. Possibly need to create render state before. Render state, render ship, transform, and then draw a wing with that transform. Okay, so you render it with a certain transform. Thanks, man. Thanks for checking that up. Actually, I remember that. I, I'm going to have to go, so I might not be able to test that just now, but thanks, man. Okay, so we'll remember that. Let me just write that down here. Uh, send ship transform with render 
call. Uh, straight up. Straight up, just keep that. Uh, good. I'll keep that. Thanks, man. Okay. All right, all right, all right. That is great. That is great. That's because, yeah, X is always X, no matter what the rotation is. That's why we got to kind of move it. Even if you rotate it like this, it doesn't mean that the X rotates. So thanks, man. Thanks. Appreciate it, man. It's real nice. you helping out. Appreciate it. Okay. So now, yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go then. That's not even an, a problem because, and also you can use the heading direction, but if I just use that with the transform, I need to create a render thing that we can set the transform from Lua. Okay, I'll look into that. It's got complicated real quick, but that would have been nice. Just wanna see what the issue is. Oh wait, hold on. I might have done something. Uh, some weird encoding, okay. Let me, before I end here, remove this. And then remove that just real quick. And we'll keep working in the next one. Let me save this as a sticky. Uh, oh, hold on, that's a funny one. <laughs> Why didn't I, oh, there we go. Let me put that in there instead. So I'll keep it as sticky. Uh, you can also do that, do some cool class stuff with that. Oh, interesting. You need to check that out, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks everybody. I'm gonna be quitting now. Uh, I've been doing a two hour stream pretty much. Thank you. Today was crunch mode. It was crazy. So much stuff to learn, so much stuff to do. Let me just make sure this still runs. It does run. Good guys. Thanks for all the help everybody. Mr. PhD, Edward, all you guys, thanks for chilling. Appreciate it. Uh, hopefully you have a great day, all of you. And drop a like, subscribe if you haven't yet. Also, check out the description box. Bunch of nice links, bunch of nice uh, series. Anything you want to check out, check it out. Take care, guys, okay? Take care, Mr. PhD. Thank you, Edward, all you guys. And see you in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.